Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Michaela Gilbert here in the sunny village of Handorf. And we're actually going into the Visitor Information Centre, which is housed right behind me in the Handorf Academy Art Gallery. And what we're going to do is go in there and have a chat to Andy Glenn and to Jenny, who's going to talk to us about what's going on in Handorf this weekend and all the things that you can do at the Visitor Information Centre. So let's go. Oh, here we go. Turn that around and see here, we're at the Handoff Academy and we go in. Hello Jenny, how are you? We go in through these doors here. This is the Visitor Information Centre and we go in through here and you just turn left before going into the gallery and you're going here to the Information Centre. It is quite a big space. So we're going to say hello to Andy and hello Jenny. Jean-Anne, 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 all right, fantastic. So can you tell me a little bit about what the Hub Visitor Information Centre is? Sure, the Visitor Centre is also a bit of a welcoming centre for anyone that comes here to our beautiful village in Handorf, a place that they can find the inspiration so they can go out and experience the very best that our town and our region has to offer as well. Yeah, so I've just noticed here on my left, if you could show us what's going on this Absolutely. weekend. I didn't know this actually was here and there is a lot of information here. Yeah. So do you want to head around and point to some yeah, of the exciting sure, things sure. that are happening this weekend? Well, these, these here are the things that are, on, well, you know, like just happening on the weekend. These are more of the things that happen constantly. We've always got live music happening, for instance, at the Three Brothers Arms in Macclesfield. Um, you've got the Strudel and Stroll walking tours with, um, with Sharon Pippos. Um, and then of course we've had the Oktoberfest going on with, um, and this one is going uh, to be at Newnham Estate, which is a gorgeous estate in Mount Barker. Um, and even the Monato Zoo Progressive Dinner. Wow, sounds that sounds... Like it's, it sounds pretty amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. And then, go on. No, no, you go. Um, but, as far as like the Adelaide Hills is concerned, um, Handorf is a perfect base to base yourself to stay here rather than staying in the city um, because you can explore so much. Um, you can just, everything's within such a close distance. You know, it's 45 minutes to the coast, half yeah. an hour down the hill into the city. But, you know, you've got the tranquility of here. It's just and, and well, why wouldn't you want to stay in a village What's like What's your favourite things in Harmouth to do? My favourite things in Harmouth to do? Um, I love the Aboriginal Art Gallery. I love the Academy here. I love the things that she has in there. Um, and it's keeping me perpetually broke. <laughs> because I've, I've spent, I've spent uh, yes, quite a bit of money in there in the past. Yeah. And at the moment, they've got the Heisen Art Prize happening. And so at the back, they've, they've got every studio or every gallery is full oh, of wow. all of what they, um, what they and also you've got the museum through the back here as well. Um, and the favourite thing to do for me is, is to look after the beautiful people that come through that door. Yes. And sort of send them on their way with a smile and give them, load them up with information and have them go, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> so. Um, and how long have you been volunteering here? I've been here for four years, nearly four years. Wow, so you've yeah. seen a lot of people come through here. I have here. seen a lot of people come And what through. are the most people looking for when they come in here for Handoff? Maps. 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 So what's your best map that you've got? Well, we've got our Adelaide Hills map. Yes. So that'll, that'll That's a show big map. It is. And then, and then you flip it over and we've got a new print so it's all going different now. So then, like, it's two-sided. But then also you've got your, um, the Handoff map, which tells you a little bit about the history and heritage of the buildings and where you have wine, beer and gin tasting. And gin is a very popular thing at the mm -hmm. moment, like Ambleside. And I'm so happy that they are actually doing gin tastings from Thursday now. Oh, fantastic. So, what else is new? Ah, uh, what else is new? <laughs> oh, Wolf Blast Museum. Oh, yeah. That is really good. That is really good. Been there a few times for drinks. Um, I love the way that they've done that building up. The, the little bits and pieces and that little old schoolhouse that's in the middle of it that's been recreated. Um, that's really good to stock the drinks and tapas and things like that. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And Andy, I'm going to come around here yeah. to you. Show That's me amazing. a little bit more about the Visitor Information Centre. Sure. What have we got in here? Come, come on over this way. Oh, okay, follow, great. Follow, follow me. Don't walk this way. It's awkward. Oh, yeah. What over have we got? Here, we, we have a small range of 
um, souvenirs and products that are only available here in the visitor centre. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, we, uh, we work, of course, with the, the town retailers to try and not stock the same things that they have. So you're able to purchase things like these little keeper cups from home. Oh, cool. That's which, cool for the uh, RV. Yeah, look, it's fantastic. And they're 100% Australian made, dishwasher proof, microwave proof. And, um, and we're about to enter an agreement with a couple of traders that they can have a, a fill up of coffee oh, as well. Oh, cool. And what have we got items. here? This is the plentiful pickings bag. Yeah, well, absolutely. Tell me about this program because I know about it, but everyone else may not know about it. Sure. Look, this this is a little brainchild of some of the traders and uh, and ourselves here. It's a beautiful cooler pack, um, a really good value cooler pack, available for thirty five dollars, and that comes with a frozen ice sheet and also seven discount vouchers and, and bonus vouchers around the village as well, so people can prepare their own picnic. Oh, yum! To, either to enjoy here in one of our beautiful parks. Or to take home, take down to the, the beach if they're heading to Glenelg after here or anywhere at all. Really. Yeah, fantastic. So, so that's a fantastic um, value product there as yeah, well. Yeah, we've got more souvenirs. More souvenirs and bits and pieces. Probably, um, you know, these are the sort of things people expect to find. But of course, a, uh, a, a unique handle stubby hall of cold, stubby and drink cooler mm -hmm. um, available from here as well. Yeah. And then over this way, we have all the brochures. Sure. Which people love to gather when they're yeah. going on a holiday, well, don't they? We'll tell you about a little bit yeah. more about why, um, why our brochures are here. Mm. The three biggest things that we do for people is to give them advice on what to see and do around the area and where all the facilities are. We give them maps, as Jeannie mentioned before, and we provide them with brochures if they want to have them. Um, we know that printed material is costly for everyone, so we try and minimise the amount of brochures that we have here to the things that are most popular for the people to do. There are a lot more brochures that we have that aren't on display, so anyone that comes in here and we're talking about different things, different wineries and things like that, yeah, we'll great. provide those if they want. And I just heard the phone ring, so people can ring here for advice too, can't they? Absolutely. It's not just popping yeah, in. Yeah, so if absolutely. you're planning a weekend to hand off, ring yeah. in advance and get oh, some ideas. Ring yeah? in advance, email, use our Facebook page, right. use the Handoff Village Facebook page mm -hmm. as well. There's a, a whole heap of information online and available if you contact us. And we just love to help people put an itinerary together. Absolutely. And do you have an accommodation booking service as well here? We do, absolutely. It's both online and, and in person. So yeah. the regional website, adelaidehills.org.au, is our online booking service. And that is managed by uh, human beings like myself. And, <laughs> I love and that volunteer. it's managed by yeah. human beings and it not chatbots. But the money isn't going to America, Dick Smith. Don't <laughs> worry about that. We're, we're here for the people of, of Handorf and also the beautiful visitors that we have here as well okay. to give that personalised support. And what's your favourite things to do in Handorf? And I know it's uh, like choosing your favourite child, but... Yeah, look, I, I could give you the diplomatic thing and say, well, you know, we, we, we love everything equally, and, and I do. I actually love going out there in the, in the main street mm -hmm. in, in our ambassador uniform, talking to people and talking to traders as well to find out what's new and what's different. Okay. And every one of the buildings that mm -hmm. we have in the street has got something special behind the front door. And the no, traders no. just love the fact that visitors okay. might want to open that yeah. door and go in and find out what they do. Exactly. It's like little hidden secrets all over the place. And because there's 130 traders, we're often finding out new things as well. It's everything from little fairy gardens to, to tucked away cafes and eateries, and, and as Jeannie mentioned, the Wolf Blast Museum and Ambleside Distillers. But, but there's also those, those uh, unique German food experiences that you might be expecting when you come mm. back. And we're able to help people find all of those. Now, this fancy uniform that you have on. Yeah. Woo -woo. Is yellow my colour? Tell me, I love it. It looks like you're kind of a cyclist, but like we're you wearing 10 sizes too big. Um. <laughs> well, thank you, I must have lost weight. <laughs> but what is this uniform about? Well, this got... uniform is uh, out in the street uniform. Um, we've done a lot of research out in the street to talk to people and figure out um, how they want information delivered. And one of the things that they um, have told us is that many of them come to Handorf over and over again. They, they love the village at Handorf, but they don't necessarily feel that they want to go into a visitor centre to find out 
what's new or what's happening. They might have their favourite eatery or they might only have an hour so they're going to walk up and down the street with their rallies. So what they said to us is it would be absolutely fantastic if you guys could come out here with us and talk to us in the street while we're out here too. So this is what this is all about. The Handoff Ambassador to talk to people in the street to engage with them out there so they can find those little things that they, they might be close by but have no idea about. I would love to be an ambassador of Handoff. It sounds fun. You would make a How fantastic you... <laughs> ambassador of Handoff. How do you become one of these people? You just simply contact us and we can, uh, we can engage with you, tell you all about the role and, um, and then fit you out to a, a beautiful, beautiful wow, coloured shirt. Wow, that's great. I'm just going to turn it around. What do you think? I reckon I'd look great in one of those yeah. outfits. I'm still working out my new yeah. camera, Annie. Yeah. There we are. I yeah. love this. I think it's fantastic. It would so suit you. If you love Handorf and you know a little bit about Handorf, but you are very passionate about talking to people, maybe you love volunteering, want to make some new friends, yeah. you know, Handorf could really use you and your talents and your passion to help build this village even greater. Yeah, it's a fantastic program, so we'd welcome everybody to come and be involved with it. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, Andy. And the welcome. Visitor Information Centre is open when? It's open seven days a week, mm -hmm. um, guaranteed to be open from nine to five during the, uh, the weekdays and ten till five at the moment during weekends and public holidays because we extend our hours by an hour in daylight saving. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And it is beautiful at the moment in daylight saving year. Oh, All the outdoor dining and walking yeah, the yeah. dog and Handoff is a very dog friendly it place. It is, so very dog friendly. It is very lovely. So. <laughs> The dogs are welcome into the visitor information yeah, centre. That's in. cool. We love to see the peaches. We we dealt with the Melbourne Cup the other day, so we can <laughs> deal with the peaches too. Fantastic. So yeah. next time we're in Hardoff, pop into the visitor information centre and say good day to the volunteers that work here. And if you'd like to become one too, check give Andy a buzz, and we'll figure out how you can be one. See you later. Bye. Yeah.